welcome to the 100th anniversary of the Hunting Cup. When I moved permanently to the Sunshine Coast, I played for many years on the Sweeney Cup with girls like Colleen McCullough, Dorothy Layton, Gail Moore, Barb Renwick, and later, a little time later after that, Val White was playing in the team, and we had a wonderful time going over to Victoria every second year to play in the Hunting Cup against the Victoria ladies, including Margaret Todd, Joan Lawson, Dorothy DiGirolamo, and Shirley Naismith. Those are only a few that I can remember. I was 23 years old when I moved to Marine Drive. The important moment was when the hunting cup was at uh, Marine Drive in 1969. And I remember we were all in the, up in the clubhouse after golf when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. That's the one hunting cup that really stands out in my mind. But it was very enjoyable playing all the different courses over in Victoria and on the Lower Mainland in the Hunting Cup. Uh, to show how, how important the Hunting Cup matches were, I think it's important to look at who played. Uh, first of all, all the BC Ladies Champions, uh, well into 70s, 80s, unless they came from outside the Lower Mainland or Vancouver Island, they played Hunting Cup. Um, but these women went on to become future Hall of Famers in the Canadian Golf Hall of Fame, PNGA Hall of Fame, our Golf Hall of Fame of British Columbia. But when women moved to British Columbia, prominent players who were hall in members of Halls of Fame in other provinces, they also played Hunting Cup. The best players in the province, if they lived in these two regions, they all wanted to play Hunting Cup. Hunting Cup over the years and the next hundred years will always be, assuming it survives, a training ground for present champions and future champions, whether that be regional or national whether they become team members for Canada or the province or the province they're in. Hunting Cup is the training ground for these women. My name is Karen Pultz and I've had the pleasure of participating in the Hunting Cup for over 25 years. Hunting Cup has offered a fun, competitive match play environment while playing some of the best golf courses in the Vancouver and Victoria areas. The Hunting Cup for me was very motivating. I wanted to be part of it. It inspired me to work on my game. And as Mike said, it was and is a training ground to develop as a golfer. And I am grateful for that. Everyone in this room has made lifelong friends through this great sport and these matches. Congratulations, Hunting Cup. Also, a special thank you to all who have organized this memorable day. Linda Jervis, LPGA teaching professional at Northview Golf and Country Club. Before turning professional, I played amateur golf in British Columbia and plenty of it. A little throwback to the 80s, early 80s. We had the District 2, 5 and 8 championship. It was one of my favorite wins a couple of times. Some qualifying was done for the Hunting Cup through that, but then moving forward to Sweeney Cup, ah, uh, Sweeney Cup, that friendly but fierce competition and that coveted golf ball, and of course, qualifying for Hunting Cup. One of my fondest memories is playing against Margaret Todd in a Hunting Cup at Victoria Club. I think I was 20. Anyways, knowing Margaret, I do believe I was defeated that day. What a proud honor it must have been to play in the 100th Hunting Cup. I look so forward to hearing about the matches. Hi, everyone. 
My name is Val White Westell and I've been playing in the Sweeney Cup and Hunting Cup matches since the mid 1970s when I was fresh out of junior golf. I managed to win the title four times, twice under my name Val White in 1975 and 1976, and two more times under my married name Val White Westell in 1979 and 1983, all the time playing for Marine Drive Golf Club. Back then in the early days, the Hunting Cup was always played on the Monday prior to the BC Ladies M, which worked very well for us all because back then the BCM was all match play.